this vlog again is for the Electrodacus DSSR20. Alright guys, thank you guys for coming back to the vlog. Uh, this is Ron for those new viewers. And uh, hopefully you guys could stick around with uh, my vlogs and different vlogs that I have here. Technically, I do various stuff of vlogs, but um, I just want to give you guys an idea why I'm doing this do-it-yourself power wall. And uh, technically, uh, if you guys could uh, check my playlist, I have a homestead that I want to do back in the Philippines. Where it technically it's a farm, and uh, it's too far from the grid where I could connect um, electricity and the thing with that is that um, if I do have it connected it's the same price that I'm gonna exp spend on the electricity and uh, for the connection or to have it connected. So I'm currently here in Canada and uh, I did heard about the Electrodacus um, brand which uh, you guys could see on my first vlog on regarding my D do-it-yourself power wall and the uh, reason why I want to do this vlog now is I'm doing some research for one of the brand that he sent me this is the DSSR 20 right there guys okay so technically this is the the solar charge controller for this system he's telling me that it could go up to 20 kilowatt of load and this device could also go up to 30 kilowatt of PV ray okay so right now this device that I have right here could hold up to 20 amp of PV and it had it could go to 1 to 2 60 to 72 cells of PV with uh, 24 volt okay and yes it could go as well with the 32 cell 12 volt so um, yeah this and I was looking online for how to install this and uh, how to do it proper properly and there is none so that's the reason why I'm making this vlog is to help you guys around as well if you guys are uh, that per or if you guys have purchased this product now i was talking to dishan and how to install it properly and there's a manual for it but hey i'm a vlogger okay let's uh let's do some video and uh hopefully i could help you guys out and you know and uh yeah on um, since i didn't have a solar power yet i'm just gonna use this energy uh battery charger okay and uh, hopefully it does the job that I wanted to do. So let's get to it. Let's do this vlog. And this vlog again is for the Electrodacus DSSR20. Also on my previous vlog, I was telling you guys that you could change the voltage that or the the trash threshold of the battery to 4.2 or depends to your um, what I may call this uh, to your battery but uh, Dacian told me to just leave it as it is because if you change that you have to change everything there okay so it's just better to leave it as it is only change the series and type of cells that you're using okay so I'm gonna turn on now the charger here and connection break why is it connection break Yo. connection break he said it's a connection break okay why is it a connection break all right so i'm gonna turn on the charger here and that should still not work why all right so let's try it again and I'm gonna power this up 
and and still no connection. All right, guys. So I technically mounted the DSSR20 to the board that I have here. So you could use a screw that is uh, M5 or whichever you have. And uh, again, this is pretty much insulated, so you cannot do any grounding or what on the device. Okay. So um, right now. Uh, this since this is the new version uh, or new model for the DSSR20 the connection for the EXTIO positive ha have to have a resistor of 1k ohm or a or up to 10k ohm so I have a 4.7 here so this should work perfectly I'm just gonna solder this and uh, connect it to a ring terminal all right so let me do that now and uh, so that i could connect this all right guys so i have here the cat5 or one of the cat5 um wire this is the one that's connected to the extio4 positive so this will be connected to the positive side of the battery while the negative one, the negative side of the EXTIO4 is connected to the, um, the DSL, DSSR20 on the top here which is the gray area or the gray part and I'm gonna show you where, where it's connected Alright guys, so for you to put in the cat5 cable into this you have to press on top on here so just press in there and just uh, pull put in the wire so the best way to do it is that you could solder the tip so it doesn't spread all over okay or there's a specific pin that he had or the Dacian has that you could put it on the front it's like a sleeve so it's easier to put in there and then the strand of the wire doesn't go all over the place all right now so i'm also in gonna include on how to open the spring cage connector here which is the orange plastic here so the best way to do it is have something pointy like this that could fit inside there and just lift right there all the way so it's more easier for me or i found it more easier to use something pointy like this to open it uh, rather than pushing and opening it with their finger so this is my negative uh, that connects to the battery i'm just gonna put it in there and uh, just lock it in place all right, so now I'm just going to connect my small alligator clip here to the positive of the that's technically going to be the play uh, the PV connection or the solar panel connection. So the next one is directly to the battery. And this connection now, I'm just going to connect it to my Tenergy charger right here. So it's negative to positive right there. And I'm just gonna connect that to an outlet right there. All right. So with any luck, this should battery check cool enter so right now woo we have light and he said eh, once there is light on the DSS DSSR 
that LED light right there on top, the red one. That means it is good and charging. Okay, so I have right now a 3.4 amp, and let's see what we have here on the. And technically, I don't know, right there is 3.2, 3.1 amp right there. That's the one that we're getting from the PV. That one is the one that's going to the battery. 2.8, 2.6. So right now it's charging. All right. So again, the so that you don't get confused like me on the beginning. <laughs> All right. So the EXT IO4 positive goes to the battery over there with the resistor or not you could exclude that one now the negative one of the ext io4 negative goes to the slot over here which is the battery slot i don't know if you guys could see it right there and i'll try it. there you go okay and there is no negative line going here from your PV it's only the positive and the negative should go straight directly to your battery all right so right now we have a full functional system right there and that's how you install your DSS R20 all right so right now everything is totally functional uh thank you very much Dishan, for your patience for helping me out set this up i have a lot of trial and error and uh, problem with it for the reason for that is that i was following a old manual for the dssr 20 so again make sure that you know which dssr 20 that you have it's is it with the diversion or without the diversion so just ask dajan he's really really nice uh he is really hands-on on supporting you to get your stuff running okay so this um dssr 20 is the solar charge controller for the Electrodacus and it's the price is roughly $40 if I'm not mistaken it's 37-ish Canadian dollar something like that uh, I don't remember how much I paid for it and uh, the SBMS 0 is around 157 to 160 I think so in total it's roughly $200 for the entire set that's not including the shipping okay <laughs> so take that as a note but yeah um again thank you very much Dajan, for helping me out um, getting my system going now again this will be going to the philippines uh to my setup there to the uh to the farm so i could connect it to my solar power there which is a 310 twin twin pick I forget I think it's twin pick uh, 60 cell uh, something like that so yeah it, it it should work there properly and I will be having a 2 kilowatt of um, system that I will be putting up there with the battery and stuff like that with the lithium battery okay so this is my full setup uh, for my do-it-yourself power wall with Electrodacus SBMS0 and the DSSR20 for the solar charge controller. Again guys, thank you very much for sticking around with me and uh, hope you understand what I tried to put in the video and stuff like that. But uh, if you can understand my video, just go to the website or talk to him if you purchase the product from him. He is a really nice guy. He's a hands-on, 100% support, 100% uh, support with his product. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys like my other vlog, stick around, uh, give the video a thumbs up, help the brothers out with the YouTube alg algorithm, and peace out everyone. And you guys have a great day. Stay safe. Deuces.